Strong's G, 3686, Anima, 
Anima. Proper name. Okay. Wrong definition. All right, a name literally. Okay, so the, the actual name. Okay, is the Hawashar. All right. Let's say it all. Uh, let's go to land. <coughs> Strong's G thirty-seven seventy-seven, Ute, Ute. Neither and not. All right. Uh, none. So there's no other name. All right. And we already look at the word name in the Greek. It is the proper name. All right. So there's a proper name that you call on for salvation. All right. Let's go here. Okay, not his true name. Alright, people of Israel. We know how you do. Alright, this is the Greek. Alright, and look right here at the root etymology of Hebrew origin. Alright, and it's gonna be Howard Shai. Okay. Basically, we got this spell on the how, yah, how, well, shy. Yeah, it, uh, the watch shouldn't be there. But ultimately, it's the how it's shy. <coughs> but the point was made that it's of Hebrew origin. All right, because his true name is a Hebrew. All right. He was given a Hebrew name, not, not a Greek name. Uh, a Hebrew name. Okay. Now let's go to Matthew. At 21, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name, and then Jesus, but not by his name, for he shall save his people from their sin. Alright, so because of the word Jesus, that's like the part to look up his word. Alright, you gotta remember this. It was translated. Alright. From the Greek, but the house of Shai, a lot of these men, they, they spoke Hebrew. Okay. Pretty looking up, but basically go back to where the house of Shai. All right, root word etymology of Hebrew origin. Okay. Let's keep that in mind of Hebrew origin. All right. Proverbs 30 and 4, who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the end of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name that thou can tell? Okay. Well, that is important to have the name. All right. What is the word name? In the Hebrew, Shem, or in, uh, in the Hebrew, the actual Hebrew pronunciation would be uh, Sham, Sham, with the name. 
All right, reputation, fame, glory. All right, the name. Okay. Ultimately, this is the name. All right. And the third, I have a father named Yahweh, and the third name Yahweh Shai. All right, because when where it's all cap, when Lord is all capitalized, after after Lord's name, it'll show you in Hebrew that his uh Yahweh. Okay, so we'll get that in a minute. Every word of Yahweh is pure. His shield, he is a shield unto them that put their trust in them. All right, let's jump down. Let's go ahead. The verse nine. Let I be full and the ninety. I say, who is the Lord? Okay, look at that. Like I said, the Lord is all cap. That's referring to Yahweh. All right, there it is. Yahweh. All right, in the Hebrew. Yahweh. <coughs> okay, that's the correct pronunciation. All right. You see right here in the um uh, I can't move my mouth. Let me, let me highlight it. So the first character starts from the right. In the Hebrew you read from right to left. And the first character from the right is Yah. The second character is Ha. The third character is Wa. And the fourth last character is Ha. Alright. Hello. Making a video. Okay. And that's how you read it. Right left. Alright, Yahweh. That's the true Heavenly Father's name. Okay? And how many times has it been translated? Thick, over 6,000 times. Alright, Yahweh. See that? So that's the true heavenly that's the true name of the heavenly father, the Howard. Okay. I already tell you what the name the Howard Shai is. Okay. John three thirty. Did he that believes on the name on the Son hath who the Son Yahweh Shai hath everlasting life? He that believes not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of Yahweh abideth on him. <coughs> Let's keep on denying the name and keep on denying uh, or, or, and keep on pushing that Yahweh Shai not important. All right, you don't have to deal with Yahweh. All right, well, ultimately, going to turn the house, so I got to be the judge. All right? But just the day he that uh, denied me before men, I would deny him before the Heavenly Father. All right? So the name is, is definitely be uh, fair and, and greatly uh, to be praised. All right? For Timothy 2 5, for there is one Yahweh and one mediator, one mediator between Yahweh and men. Alright. Do that mediator, the man Yahweh Shai, Matriot, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified at this time. And the point is that Yahweh Shai is the one that can uh, basically grant us salvation. Alright. That's why we say Yahweh, my son, Yahweh, sorry. All right, because like the scripture just say, 
and one mediator between Howard and Mim. All right, and that's what Howard's trying to do right now. All right, We're mediating on the behalf of the elect, the Heavenly Father, the Howard. All right, and after that, in due time, there's salvation. All right, because the whole cycle brings salvation as a to the elect. Those that are still stiffly for his name. I just stand in second, uh, second, uh, yeah, second Andrew chapter two. All right, and going to that. How they feel stiffly for the name. All right, why? Because we uh, proclaim the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, named Yahweh, Yahweh, Shire before men. All right. And therefore, he gonna what? Uh, how does this go? Basically, he gonna uh, speak, uh, basically um, justify us before that heavenly body. How? <coughs> no, that could be it. I'm not gonna be the video too long. But hopefully, that was edifying. So with that, shalom.